Hello everyone, welcome to the deep learning workshop. In this video, I will provide a tutorial on introduction to NumPy. NumPy is a core library for scientific computing in Python. Okay, it, it's used in machine learning and it's also used for uh, numerical analysis and so on. NumPy provides a high performance multidimensional array object with which you can create one dimensional array, two dimensional array and so on. And NumPy also provides uh, functions to work with these arrays. Uh, you can do operations such as multiplications, addition, uh, max, min and many other uh, operations. So let's start with uh, NumPy array. So NumPy array is basically a grid of values. Typically all the values are of same type, integers, floats or you know, boolean. And this array, you know, like a Python list can be indexed uh, by providing a tuple of uh, non-negative integers. It could be the position uh, in the array that you want to access or it could be also be uh, other complicated things as we'll see later. The number of dimensions uh, in an array is usually referred as the rank of the array and it can be obtained by calling the shape function with an array. You can basically get a list of integers which gives the size of the array along each dimension. So this is a one dimensional NumPy array, it contains three values, one, two, and three. And basically uh, this command uh, takes uh, a list of uh, values, uh, numpy.array takes a list of values, uh, it's a python list of uh, values and uses that to create a numpy array. So you would get a numpy array, it's a one dimensional array with three values, one, two and three, basically. And you can uh, call the shape uh, function associated with the uh, array object and you would get the shape of the array. In this case, it's a, it's a one dimensional array of size three. So you get three. You can, you can also access elements within the array by providing the corresponding indices. This is very much like accessing a Python list. And you can also create two dimensional array in this, in this case, I'm creating a two cross three array. As you can see, the first row contains one, two, and three. The second row contains four, five, and six. You can call the shape function again, and you would get the shape. So this time, if you have a tuple of two numbers, because we have two uh, dimensions in the array, the first is the number of rows. So we have two rows, first row, and then the second row and then the second dimension is the number of columns we have three columns basically the first column contains one and four second column contains two and five third column contains three and six basically and then again we can access elements in the in the two dimensional array by providing both the row and the column indices so for example i want to access the first row first column i will provide zero comma zero so remember that the indexing in Python starts from zero, not from one. And NumPy, as I said before, also provides a lot of functionalities to work with these arrays, to perform some operations on these arrays, and so on. So you, it also provides functionalities to create arrays, create special arrays, right? So one kind of a special array is an array of, which contains uh, full of full full of ones right so here you can use the ones function and create a 1d array of size 3 with all the values initialized to ones and similarly zeros you can do you can call zeros function or you want to initialize values from a 
um, random randomly from a normal distribution you can use the random dot random function and so on right now we can look into uh, indexing an array we have array we want to access some elements in the array and we'll see different ways to access that so we have already seen we can directly uh, specify the uh, indices corresponding to the uh, dimensions so for example if it is a one dimensional array you can provide the index like a python list you can provide index you can even provide slicing you can slice and get the uh, get a select a uh, set of uh, values from the array in this case if you want the first two elements in the array you would specify 0 colon uh, 2 basically so you would get the 0 and the first uh, index values right values corresponding to the first and the second index and similarly you can do the same operations on a two dimensional array as well um, here I want uh, the first row second column so I would specify 0 comma 1 or let's say I want the last two rows uh, of the array so I would specify 1 colon 3 or let's say I want to specify on the, the first two rows and first column only so I would specify uh, the column index would just be 0 uh, while the row index I, it would be slicing operation so I would do 0 colon 2 which specifies that I want the first two rows basically so you can also do integer uh, array based indexing where you uh, provide a list of row indices and list of column indices separately in this case for this uh, 3 cross 2 uh, numpy array um, you can provide the row indices in a nice List form 0, 1, 2, and then the column indices in a nice list form 0, 1, 0, and you would uh, get elements which are 0, row, 0 column, so which is 1, and first row, I mean, uh, I mean the second row and the second column, which is uh, 4, and similarly the third row and then the first column that would be fine so you can basically just separately provide the list of uh, row indices and the list of column indices separately and there are some special tricks which we can use with indexing if you want to mutate or make changes in some parts of the array um, you can um, you know do as follows let's say you have an array uh, which is 3 cross 3 or 4 cross 3 in this case and you want to uh, update few values in the array let's say add 10 to few values in the array right and so one uh, value from each row in the array um, so you can provide the column indices separately um, or yeah, column indices separately 0, 2, 0, 1 and then you can basically use the a range function which is going to give a list of numbers starting with 0 to n so in this case n is 4 we will get numbers 0, 1, 2 and 3 so those are the row indices and b is the column indices 0, 2, 0, 1 and I would make changes in specific uh, values in the matrix, uh, one value per each row. So 0, 0, I add a 10, so it would become 11. And similarly, 2, uh, so the first is a, is a second row, and then the third column, which is 6, I'll add 10 to it. And then in this case, the third row, and then the first column, I'll add 10 to it. And then the fourth row and then the second column I'll add into it. So it becomes 21. We can also do Boolean array based indexing. So if you say um, A are greater than 2, only those indices uh, where whose values are greater than 2 
uh, it would be true otherwise it would be false if you print this boolean matrix you would get false false because uh, the first row the, none of the values in the first row contains um, number which is greater than 2 so that's false while all the other uh, rows uh, the second and the third rows contain values which are greater than 2 so you are true everywhere and you can use this indexing to select elements so basically i want those indices which are greater than 2 all i need to do is a and a greater than 2 this is going to give me the boolean uh, um, index and with uh, applying that on a matrix i'm going to uh, set, be able to select uh, those values which are greater than 2 so it is 3 4 5 and 6 and regarding the data types of values um, so as i said before typically the all the values in a numpy array are of same data type and the data type uh, could be integer or it could be float or it could be even be boolean right and while instantiating the array you can specify the type uh, of value that you want specifically uh, in this case i'm specifying i'm creating an array one two with each value being an integer it's always a good practice to explicitly pass the type yeah and numpy also provides easy to use functionalities to perform operations with uh, arrays right if you have two arrays you can add them element wise you have uh, even it can work for 1D, 2D or 3D or ND, for example, those additions. Not just addition, you can do subtraction, multiplication, division, and you can just take um, um, element-wise even square root as well. These are some of the operations. Of course, you might need to look into the documentation for an uh, exhaustive list of operations supported by NumPy. You can do dot product and numpy also has a lot of uh, cool functionalities like finding a maximum number in a list or minimum number in a list or some of all the numbers in the list so it has built-in functionalities which you can readily use you can even take the transpose of a matrix all you need to do is specify dot t and it gives you the transpose immediately the last thing we would see in this tutorial is uh, broadcasting. It's a very handy um, operation performed by NumPy to make use of small arrays to manipulate large arrays. So imagine the large array is the data array and you have the small array. And basically you want to add each row with the small array. Uh, instead of duplicating the uh, small array uh, multiple times uh, and then uh, adding it all you need to do is you can readily do data plus ones row and although these uh, data and one, ones underscore row is of different dimension due to the implicit broadcasting the resulting operation is actually uh, equivalent to addition of the small array with each row in the um, data array, right? So it's really cool functionality which uh, Python uh, NumPy does implicitly. So you have to be very careful also. If you're not sure like what's going on, you have to uh, sometimes pass some inputs and see uh, how the output changes, whether to see if the broadcasting is applied or not. I think we'll stop with that uh, for this tutorial. So rest of the materials are mostly self-explanatory uh, uh, and we welcome you to try it out and let us know if you have uh, any comments uh, or any clarifications that is needed. Yeah. Thanks for watching.